Brian, I got a problem here. Mm -hmm. I got this disc. It's got bumps all over it. Ooh. Growth's coming out the bottom. Yikes. I think I got a problem. Brian, you don't have a problem. You got a sick disc. Hey guys, welcome to Sick Discs. I'm Brian Keegan. I'm Brian Bowman. We're here to show you the discs that you're not gonna find in anybody's in the bag video. These are the types of discs that may, there might be something a little bit wrong with them physically. We'll decide if they're sick discs <coughs> or like sick discs. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start off this review. What do we have today, Brian? Today we got the uh, infamous Quest AT Turbo Putter. Uh, this disc was PDGA approved for a hot second, uh, but was quickly taken off the list because it's not symmetrical. Um, and it's in this weird sort of baseline DX plastic that kind of feels a little cheap to me, uh, a little different. But obviously the main feature, these weird bumps. Spiral on the inside. Spiral on the inside for your thumb for when you're turbo putting. Uh, but it's definitely an oddity and it flies pretty weird, so uh, let's check it out. Yeah. Now let's see if we can make any putts with this thing. I am not really a turbo putter. I don't have great form. Um, but really what you're doing is picking a spot on this spiral on the bottom where you want your thumb, whether it's right at the center or a little more to the outside. And then you're locking your fingers into these weird bumps and you get a really good like wrist, wrist torque on it that you won't get with another disc uh, where your thumb is just resting on the center. First off, last week during our putting league, I couldn't make a turbo putt to save my life. I'm gonna say that. When I was putting with the turbo putter, I was surprised after just a little while, just maybe five or six throws with it, I was able to hit my mark a lot quicker with it. Um, it was very easy to get once you once you learn the trick of turning your wrist. Um, and once you've turned your wrist, that really helps the disc to spin and stay glidy, stay straight. And uh, I really thought it was an accurate turbo putter. What yeah. did you think, Brian? Uh, it's very overstable, so you can really put a lot of power on it. I found that I. I didn't make a lot of putts with it, but it was easier to make them from a little further away from close up. This thing really likes to dump out hard and uh, it was a little difficult. So st when I step back a little bit and I could put more power on it, I got a little better flight. But as, you as you've seen, uh, I have not very much of a turbo putt. Um, you know, if you putt regular with this, it's really difficult to get a good grip because of this spiral on the bottom. Uh, but it's a very overstable putter. You can really zing it and uh, get some accuracy with it as long as you can deal with this weird lumpy rim and this spiral in the way on the bottom. Uh, it's pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, sweet. So as far as the disc goes, is this a sick disc? <coughs> or is it a sick disc? Uh, I'm gonna have to say that it is sick in the infirmary, uh, but you should go visit it because it's a good time and you can have fun with it. <laughs> okay, this is where we disagree, okay? Because I think the accuracy is there if you can really get that spin on it. If you can really get that extra, if you can find that comfortable spot there for your hand and actually get the spin on it. Yeah. I got such accuracy out of it. It's a sick disc. Yeah, yeah, for me, so I guess we're at an impasse here. It's hospital sick or it's rock sick. Yeah. Um, we'll keep so. it in the sick discs bag. How about that? We'll keep it in there uh, for maybe a further further review as we get used to it down the road. Maybe, but what I really want to know is what do you guys think? Is this a sick disc <coughs> or is this a sick disc? Please let us know in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. Glad you guys joined us today for sick discs. Until next time guys, keep, keep banging, banging those chains. chains.